today. Today I am doing my granddaughter's hair. This is the day before Christmas. I had to think about that one for a minute. It's the day before <laughs> the day before Christmas, December 24th. Yes, and she spent the night with us last night. So today my daughter said, "Mom, we're going to they're going to her other grandparents for Christmas Eve dinner today." And she said, I need her to look cute. Do you think you could do her hair? I had three daughters <laughs> with long hair, so I think I can do this. What do you think? You think I can do this? Yeah. All right. So we're going to tell bus stories today. And then she washed my hair in the sink. Uh, I washed, no, I washed her hair in the bathtub, remember? Oh, yeah. I washed her hair in the bathtub and got it all cute. She has, let me tell you. This girl has so much hair. This is how I want you to put it in. Like, put this, and then I want it, I like it. She's trying to tell me what she wants, and she's, like, drawing a line down her head. Like so that. you want me to bring all this back? No. Or just some of it? No, like this. Watch, watch her tell me how to do Wait, this. Wait, where's the hair tie? So, okay. like this. See the line she's drawing? That's <laughs> like, what she wants me to do. Does that make sense to any of you? I don't know. I can't think I don't want to draw lines of like this. I'm not going to do it. You just want a little bit here? No, no, like a lot, but I'm just showing you a little like this and then put the thing on. Okay. And then it goes so down. So do you want me to take all this? Right? No. <laughs> We're going to figure this out together, okay? So we'll be right back. All right, so guess what I got her? I got her a new Jojo bow for Christmas. I got her actually two Jojo bows. Two, 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 two Jojo bows. Guess what? Our family's gonna watch it. That's okay. That's okay. okay. I got her two Jojo bows and I let her pick between one and she picked where because the Because it matched today. it with. It that? matched, not matched it. Matched. Matched. So this one is, this is the winner. So we're gonna do something with her hair today and. Because, like this. Like the little bit of hair and then like that. A little, just like a little bit of hair right here. Okay, let me see. Here we go again. <laughs> all right, so anyway, let me do like that. Let me curl it first and then we'll figure it out, all right? And just don't complain through this because just get through it. So my grandkids love me telling bus driver stories. I don't know why. They just think it's funny. I don't know why. Why do you like my bus driver stories? Because, um, she doesn't know why she just. Oh, okay, I know. She knows why now. Because I look funny. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay, so because I don't I, know if I'm. I like I like to hear about what happened in your past life. <laughs> in my past life. Okay. All right. So listen, since it's the holiday winter season, I'm gonna use hairspray. It'll make the curls stay better. So, since it's the holiday season, okay, <coughs> I'll tell you about one when I drove my elementary. Yeah, my elementary kids. So, there was this, I live in Ohio, we live in Ohio, and there was a winter storm warning coming. And I knew that it was bad enough that they'd call off school for a day or two. And sure enough, they did. So I told all the kids, I said, oh, look how cute. I told all the kids, I said, now listen, where'd my comb go? <laughs> okay. You told them? I told you all told the kids. Them, you told no, them. you just listen. I told all the kids, I said, now I am, they knew I liked snowmen. Snowmen were my favorite. And I said, I am not going to pick you up for school unless you build a snowman at the end of your driveway for me. If you have a snowman at the end of your driveway, I'll pick you up. Well, you know, I would have picked him up anyway, okay? I was just kind of playing with him with the snowman story. So, snow came like a foot. We got over a foot of snow that day. So, they called off school the next day. So, when school was back on, I went to pick up all these kids, and I'm stopping, and there's snowmen everywhere at the end of the driveways. And there's parents laughing at me, you know, putting their kids on the bus, laughing because Miss Michelle insisted, she said, in order for us to ride the school bus, we have to have a snowman at the end of our driveway. 
So almost all the houses that I picked up, and now mind you, I picked up 60 kids. I had 60 kids on my bus. And the parents were laughing, and I had snowmen. There were snowmen at, at the end of everybody's driveway. Little ones, tiny ones, big ones. It didn't matter. There were snowmen. I just thought that was so funny. It was funny. So guess what happened when Christmas rolled around? What? They, since all these kids knew that I like snowmen, I ended up with Christmas gifts of snowmen. <laughs> So I had 60 kids on my bus, mind you, and every one of them got me a gift. And it, snowmen. It was mostly snowmen. So I had snowmen ornaments. I had snowmen coffee cups. I had snowmen everything. Everything. Is one of them a, a snowman ornament that's on the tree? Maybe. I found like a gold one and a white one on the tree. Did you? Is that one of them? Uh, maybe. Maybe. But I had a lot of snowmen that year. Lots of snowmen. I like driving the elementary kids. They were fun. And you know what I did one time? What? We would get to the school early. You know. Oh, sometimes if we ten minutes early. And I had a, a radio on my bus. So we could listen to tapes and cassettes. And every once in a while I'd let them bring in cassettes. But I had a cassette player tape made up of dance music. So we would get to the school and I would teach them how to do, I even forget the names of the dances, some of the line dances that we had now or back then. So we would do like the cha-cha slide on the bus. I Wait, mean, that was fun. Trying to Remember the story when the kid got up on the bus and danced? Yes. I had another kid get up on the bus and that just... You, that's a video. Go check that out. That yeah. He, yeah. But we'd get to the school and I would let the kids dance. So, um, one day, the principal was out in the parking lot and I said, You have to come see this. This is, like, so cute. So he did and all these kids were just dancing. All the kids were dancing. It was so... And they just... He just laughed at me. He's like, how in the world did you do that? I don't know. I just Best did it. Ever. So that, oh, another time I had, it was, I had my camera with me. And I, this was like before cell phones, cameras and all that. But I had my um, camera, camera with me. So I had them sit up in the seats with their heads out so I could see them all. Because some of them were little. But I wanted to make sure I saw everybody's head. And I did, so I took a picture of them. So then I said, all right, everybody, lay down and put your feet up on the seat. And they says, what? And so I explained it to them. So everybody, all I could see was feet. So I had them all stick their feet up on the back of the seat in front of the person that, you know, that was in front of them. And I took that picture. And I wish I could find that picture because that was, like, too cute too cute. So I had a picture of heads and then I had a picture of all their feet. I was a fun bus driver. I think I was. There was another bus driver that her and I looked a lot alike and we were both fun bus drivers. Everybody wanted to ride our bus. It was fun. Did they get confused which bus driver? Once in a while they did. They, they would, because we would park next to each other. Me and her name was Mary Ellen. We would park next to each other, and once in a while, the kids would get on my bus and look at me and say, like, you're not, you're not Mary Ellen. No, nope, I'm not. Nope. So they would, <laughs> we'd get a big kick out of that. So, I don't know. Another day, in the winter, your bus gets really dirty. Because in Ohio, of course, we have all the salt and, and all the rocks, whatever they lay in the road. So... I one day I was sweeping my bus, oh, and I had my radio going, and I wasn't paying attention, and I'm just sweeping away, and I get to the back door, and I open the back door up, no big deal, you know, and I'm just sweeping away, and all of a sudden, I fell out my back door. I fell right out the back door into the parking lot, and I'm thinking, oh my god. Is that how you broke your back? No, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. I hope nobody saw it. Nobody saw me do it. But I got back on, I got back on the bus. <laughs> so then there was another time I'm sweeping away at the elementary school. 
you know, not paying attention, have the radio go and the kids are on the bus. I'm not paying a bit of attention to anything. I fell, I fell right down the steps. Sweeping away, down the steps. And now this time I had all the kids on the bus and they all saw me fall. So that was fun. So that happened. I think I, did that, I actually did that twice. You know, when you're a bus driver and you're sweep, sweeping your bus, pay attention because the steps hurt. I've fallen up the steps. I've fallen down the steps. You know, those steps are just, uh, I don't know. They're just fun to deal with. So then, another time, it was like the end of the year, and um, it was the last day of school. And all the, all the middle school kids knew that, you know, they're not allowed to take squirt guns. Nobody, no squirt guns in the school. They weren't even allowed to bring book bags to school that day. Wait, what? Nope. So, no book bags, no nothing. So they didn't, they weren't allowed, to, <coughs> they weren't allowed to bring anything. So, they all knew that Miss Michelle would hide their goods. So, what the kids did was they would get off their bus and run over to my bus really quick. And they would leave me with all their squirt guns, their shaving cream, and everything. And then they would, um, at the end of school, when school was over, they would come find me you know, where my bus was parked, and they would walk home, and they would go over about two streets, and they would have the biggest water balloon fight, yeah, uh, squirt guns. Just like that. That's how I want it. See that? See this piece of hair? Yeah, I could do that. I want it back, like okay. this, and then the... We I'm can... drawing the line again. I know, you're drawing the line again. So, the kids would come to my bus, and they would, you know, pick up their goods, well, my bus route went by them. My bus route went had to go through this, and they knew I'd be coming and everything. So they kind of, they these kids all respected me. They all loved me. So they stopped the fight when I got close. They stopped their, uh, it was, the street was a mess. It was that big. It was huge. So they stopped doing it when they saw my bus coming out of respect because they knew that, you know, I hid all their stash, and they're not going to spray me. Well, I stopped my bus right in the middle of their fight, okay? And I said, go ahead and nail it if you want to. So they sprayed shaving cream all over my bus. They hit it with water balloons. They did whatever they wanted to to the side of my bus. And I didn't care because I was going back to the garage. So they they did that and I pulled into my I pulled into the garage and they're like, What happened to you? I don't know. But you know, them kids up there, they just hit me. I didn't tell them I let them hit me. So I don't know. Another day I was really hot and they were out there with squirt guns. Some of the people at my route. And it was like ninety five hundred degrees. And I don't know if you've ever been in a school bus when it's ninety five to 100 degrees driving. I have. Have you? Well, the driver's seat is even hotter because that's where the engine is. And your feet just are dying of heat. Uh, it's so freaking hot. So they were out there and had their big old Macy. squirt guns. Macy, stop it. My dog is see something outside. So I stopped the bus and they're like, yeah, what do you, hey, how are you doing? I'm like, squirt me, please. Just squirt me. So I let the kids on the street squirt me. I'm just sitting in my driver's seat, open my door, and they're just squirting. I'm like, all right, thank you. And I carried on. <laughs> and one day, it was that hot, I brought a squirt gun on my bus, a smaller squirt gun. And I hid it under my driver's seat. And I'd be driving down the road. And all of a sudden, the kids are like, Miss Michelle, we're getting wet. And I'm like, what? We're getting wet, Miss <laughs> Michelle. And I'm like, it's not raining out. I don't know what's going on. What? So we drive down the street a little more. Uh, Miss Michelle, we're getting wet. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I didn't. I don't know what's going on. So <laughs> pretty soon, they started, you know, paying attention to why they're getting wet. And they see me now get my squirt gun out with my. I got it with my left hand down here, and I'm just squirt. I get it, and I squirt behind my head. <laughs> they just thought that was the funniest thing. The bus driver had a squirt gun and was that was before all the gun 
safety and the gun because we're nowadays never ever ever you would never be allowed to bring a, any type of gun anywhere because in our school you're not allowed to have any type of gun because they said it's inappropriate yeah so now that you're not allowed to do that nowadays but this was way 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 back in the day when i drove a school bus with the dinosaurs but that's dinosaur. a, well no i'm kidding you know old 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 but that's uh that's what we did i don't know and there was another day one day i was going over the railroad tracks because i had a lot of railroad tracks on one of my bus routes one year and there was a kid you, when you stop at a railroad track the bus driver has to do certain things you got to open the door or you got to open the window you have to shut off all your fan you just don't go over the railroad, tra railroad tracks you have to shut off any fans or radios. Is that why they're so slow? Because my dad said. Yeah. Because my dad said, "Why do we? Why? Why is this school bus so slow That's on the track?" Because we were. You have to open your door. And you have to listen for a train, and you have to do all that fun stuff. So one day, I was going. Uh, you know, I'm at the railroad tracks and. You have to tell the kids to be quiet and doing all my thing and I'm just getting ready to go over the railroad tracks and wouldn't you know that I hear a train whistle and I stop the bus and I'm thinking what and I'm looking both ways and I hear it again and I'm thinking there is no what is the kid in the back of the bus had a train whistle I knew it you know those big wooden whistles they have the train things well, he had one of those, and he blew it. I kind of don't know one of the two. Where'd my comb go? I keep losing my comb. There it is. He blew that thing just about as I, when I was going over the railroad tracks. Scared the living crap out of me, so I wrote him up. That I didn't write very many people up, but you know what? He got in trouble for doing that because you can't do that on a school bus. So, anyway, that was interesting. I kind of don't want to JoJo bed now because it's so curly. Oh, well, it'll look cute when we're done. All right, so look, we have curls everywhere, and we're going to figure this JoJo bow out. But, but, but. Draw the line again. Go ahead. <laughs> so. Now, you're going to mess your curls up. Let me. Does she take any of this hair? No. No, just hair back here. Yes. Okay. Like this, let me show you. Oh, I got it, I got it's it. It's a little thing. Just a little section. And then it's supposed to and then put it in a ponytail and then okay. it's supposed to go back like a little. Like right here. Yeah. And then, How come I can't take this? That, it, that would look cute. Can't I do that? Fine. Because the, I got all these curls. And it's supposed to go back. Okay, and you want your JoJo boat like right here. We are going to figure this out. Go ahead. Draw the line. Let me do it this way and then you see if you like it. Okay. Okay. Because we have all these cute... Let me see how the jujubo feels in it. Well, that's a jujubo. Alright, let me take it out of the package. I already know how to do it. I took it out all the time. Okay. It's easy. Out of the package. Of... Do you need help? No, I'm good. Maybe. Okay. I s okay, let me fluff your JoJo bow. I don't know. Do you have kids and do they have JoJo bows? Because they're you, popular. They're popular and they're expensive and JoJo's making a lot of money. So if I put all, the JoJo bow be right here. Oh, okay. Is that cool? Yeah. I had my hair like that. Look at this. So we got the JoJo bow and turn around and show them. We have curls. Okay, look up. Beep. Okay, and look at all these cur. Look at this hair this girl has. All right, there we go. So oh, pretty. I think your mom will say this is cute. Now don't lay on it because you'll mess it up. Okay. Mess it up. All right. If you like our video, make sure to like, give me my dirty breath. subscribe, and come back for more. And we'll see you next time.